guys and welcome back to my channel today is going to be a review um i don't think it's been a few videos since i've posted a review so it's all right right i love review videos just because i love to try these i love review videos and like um kind of like a what you think about it product video kind of things because if I see something and I'm like, ooh, that looks really, really nice, or oh, there's a new foundation or whatever, I want to try it, but at the same time, you don't want to waste your money either. Some places you can return it, it just all depends on their policy and everything like that. But um, being a YouTuber, this is what I'm here to do for you guys. Um, <laughs> I saw this foundation and I had to try it and that's not just because I'm a foundation and concealer junkie or anything like that. So I have actually recently gone through my foundations and kind of gotten rid of either foundations that were just too old or they didn't work with me, I didn't like them, or anything like that. And um, the ones that were still usable and wearable, I gave to um, family members. So, I have been trying this foundation out for a good while now. And um, this is what I've been wearing pretty much every single day that I put makeup on. The foundation and the concealer both because I just, I wanted to really be able to see how it works and all that kind of stuff. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation and Concealer. Um, it's supposed to like transform your skin or whatever. Um, I don't know about all that. Um, it hasn't like made my skin better. I, uh, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys know that I have been under a lot of stress and I have just, I have been breaking out like crazy. I mean like they're so bad and so like ridiculous that I can barely cover them up. It's annoying to say the least, so I've just been saying F it and not wearing a whole lot of makeup very often. So um, so they can kind of try and clear up and that's another reason why this past week I did not have any uploads. I do apologize for that. i um, just gonna go ahead and apologize for that right now because this will probably be the first video that I post. So, um, yeah, but um, I do like it. It is not my favorite. It's okay. I'm. It's not my favorite when I am lighter, and I am not self tanned right now, so I'm at my light shade, which is 25 nude beige. At my tannest, I am in number 40 buff beige, which I could actually probably go a little bit darker, but. Um, I do, I, I like I like it in my darker shade better. I like it when I'm more tan. I mean, pretty much anybody will tell you if you're a little bit darker, it's easier to cover imperfections and things like that. Where, where when you're lighter, things kind of stick out a little bit more. So, needless to say, I'm gonna be self-tanning tomorrow. Yes, anybody else feel me on that one? But, um. I do like the foundation. I really do. Um, it's buildable. It is not full coverage, but it's buildable to a medium-ish coverage, I would say. But uh, if you are looking for something that's going to be super full coverage, it's going to cover things up, and it's going to make you look pretty. I mean, you're pretty anyways, but it's going to make you look like flawless this is not really going to do it um, if you're looking for maybe if you don't have a whole lot of discolorations or imperfections and things like that to cover up 
then this would be perfect if you want a little bit more than light coverage but you don't want like something super crazy any either um, I would definitely go for this it is also oil free so it is good for my oily girls out there because I know it is hard for a lot of oilier women and men out there to um, get foundations that aren't going to make them super like greasy or anything like that and I have not I do get kind of oily in my t-zone so I have not noticed anything crazy or anything like that it lasts pretty good um the fading is nice and I mean it's it's a nice foundation if you apply it properly it will stay all day it'll stay properly but you just have to apply it properly I mean that's pretty much that goes for pretty much any foundation you're you're gonna put on your face the concealer however I am not a huge huge fan of I like it it is it just doesn't cover my under eye circle bags especially this past week up very well I like more of a full coverage concealer under the eyes this is better for highlighting this is gonna be your best bet if you want a light coverage or if you just need a light coverage like for my younger girls if you need a concealer that's a little bit shh, that's a little bit more than light coverage but it's not full coverage it's all right I like it more for like highlighting and things like that but yeah other than that this foundation and concealer are they're pretty good I just, if you're looking for something that is going to be full coverage, foundation and concealer wise, I would not reach for this. My darker skin girls, it's it's pretty good for you guys. If you're super fair, I would not go for this foundation just because it doesn't isn't going to cover up your imperfections if you have any if you have already really nice skin and you just want you know something to even you out and you want a little bit of coverage I would definitely go for this um it applies really nicely it sets really nicely it's not super sticky or anything like that so I do like that and I do appreciate that a lot hope this video helped some of you guys out if you are looking to try that foundation and concealer I do like it I would recommend it but not for somebody who is looking for a full coverage foundation and concealer that is gonna really cover up those imperfections or anything like that it's just it's just not one of those foundations and concealers. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, don't forget, wake up and make up. Bye. She asked me if I do this every day, I said often. That's how many times she wrote the wave, not so often. But it is down to do it either way, often. Baby, I can make that, break that, break